Welcome back to DM Academy. Okay, let's have another problem. Function of y is equal to the hyperbolic secant of 4x plus 3 all over 6x. Okay, so to solve this problem, we will use again the chain rule. Okay, we will let u be equal to 4x plus 3 all over 6x. So our function of y now is equal to the hyperbolic secant of u. Okay, using the chain rule, dy over dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so we have the derivative of function y, that is the hyperbolic secant u with respect to u, multiplied by the derivative of uh, u, that is 4x plus 3, all over 6x, with respect to x. Okay, we have what is the derivative of the hyperbolic secant u, that is negative hyperbolic secant u, times the hyperbolic tangent u. Okay, multiplied by the derivative of 4x plus 3. So on this, we will use the quotient rule. So we have 6x multiplied by d over dx of 4x plus 3. minus 4x plus 3 times the d over dx of 6x all over the square of 6x. Okay, we have now, let's simplify this one. dy over dx is equal to hyperbolic secant of 4x plus 3 over 6x times the hyperbolic tangent of 4x plus 3 all over 6x since that is the value of u multiplied by okay 6x multiplied by the derivative of 4x plus 3 that is 4 minus 4x plus 3 multiplied by the derivative of 6x, that is 6. All over the square of 6x, that is 36x square. Okay, let us simplify this one. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to the negative of the hyperbolic secant of 4x plus 3 all over 6x. Hyperbolic tangent of 4x plus 3 all over 6x. Multiply it by 6x multiply it by 4 that is 24x. Then 4x multiplied by 6, that is positive 24x. Then multiplied by negative 1, that is minus 24x. Then 3 multiplied by 16, that is 18. Multiplied by negative 1, that is negative 18. All over 36x squared. Okay, so as you notice, we can cancel out the 24x minus 24x because that is 0. Then negative 18 or 18 and 36 are divisible by 36 so this 18 will become 1 and this one will become 2 okay then negative multiply it by the negative that is positive okay so therefore the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 
the hyperbolic secant of 4x plus 3 all over 6x multiplied by the hyperbolic tangent of 4x plus 3 all over 6x all over 2x square. Okay, so this is again the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, let us solve this one. Function of y is equal to 11x minus 5 all over the hyperbolic cotangent of 2x. Okay, so our solution for this is using the quotient rule. We have the v du minus u dv all over v squared. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to the hyperbolic cotangent of 2x multiplied by the derivative of 11x minus 5 minus 11x minus 5 multiplied by the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent of 2x. Then all over the square of the hyperbolic cotangent 2x. Okay, so let us simplify. We have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the hyperbolic cotangent of 2x multiplied by the derivative of 11x minus 5 and that is 11 minus 11x minus 5. Multiply it by um, the derivative of hyperbolic cotangent 2x. So for or, or on this part, we will use the chain rule. That is the d over du of the hyperbolic cotangent u, then multiplied by the d over dx of 2x. Then all over the square of hyperbolic cotangent 2x, that is hyperbolic cotangent square of 2x. Okay, so let's simplify. We have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to hyperbolic cotangent 2x multiplied by 11 is 11 hyperbolic cotangent of 2x minus 11x minus 5. Derivative of hyperbolic cotangent u. Okay, on this part, that is derivative of cotangent that is negative hyperbolic cosecant square u multiplied by derivative of 2x and that is 2. Okay, all over the square of hyperbolic cotangent 2x. Okay, let us simplify this one. Okay, dy over dx is equal to 11 of hyperbolic cotangent 2x. Okay, let's multiply this. Since we have negative here, then minus our operation now is plus 2 times 11x minus 5. Hyperbolic cosecant or hyperbolic cosecant square of u which is 2x all over the square of hyperbolic cotangent 2x. Okay, so this is again our derivative or the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, let's have another problem. 
Okay, our function of y is equal to the hyperbolic secant of e raised to 2x. Okay, so we will let u be equal to e raised to 2x. Then our function of y now is hyperbolic secant of u. So using the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u. Multiply it by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so this is equal to d over d of y, which is the hyperbolic secant u. Multiply it by the d over dx of e raised to 2x. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of the hyperbolic um, secant u is equal to the negative of the hyperbolic secant u times the hyperbolic tangent u. Then multiplied by the derivative of e raised to 2x, we will use the chain rule, that is d over du of e raised to u times the d over dx of 2x. Okay, derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the negative hyperbolic secant of u, which is e raised to 2x multiplied by the hyperbolic tangent of e raised to 2x. Then derivative of e raised to u is still e raised to u. Then derivative of 2x is 2. So we have now, okay, let's multiply this. We have negative 2 e raised to u. Secant, hyperbolic secant e raised to 2x times the hyperbolic tangent of e raised to 2x. Or our dy over dx is equal to negative 2 e raised to 2x multiplied by the hyperbolic secant of e raised to 2x times the hyperbolic tangent of e raised to 2x. Okay, so this is again the derivative of y with respect to x. Thank you for watching.